Hey guys, welcome to our channel where we explore the exciting world of programming and technologies. In this part 2 video where we uh, explore the power and feasibility of Django's custom user model, we'll take a look at how to customize the Django user model and along with that we'll be also customizing our user manager which is very really important. So make sure to watch this video entirely to understand it. And over here I'll uh, stop the server and I'll minimize this and let's comment this out okay and i will start again so we'll again create a class class called as user and it will again take abstract base abstract user and in this one we are going to again have a mobile number field so mobile underscore number and this will be models dot care field so it is care field care field with max length uh, uh, you know what let's just copy from here and paste it after this, we are also going to have a field called as address field. So address. So let's say user one means like we want to also store the user's address over here itself. So that's why we are doing this. And I will call it as model dot care field uh, or char field, whatever you want to call it as max length of uh, max length of let's say 255 characters. So our two fields are ready. Now what we are going to do again specify the username field. We want it to be uh, mobile number. So username field mobile number. And if you remember in the previous video we had to specify this username field in the required fields right. So that that is like problematic. Why should we have a username field when we are using the username to be mobile number right. So in order to remove that or fix that problem that's why this video is created. So now we are going to specify required fields and I want the required field to be address. Okay. Like you can mention this or you can just keep it blank. It doesn't matter. Uh, but uh, this is what I want to show. Like let's say mobile number is the user field over here. Right. So we don't have to specify that into required fields because it is automatically expected by Django that it is a required field. Then any other required fields that you create, you have to specify in this required fields list, right? So here I'm saying I want the address to be uh, the required field or uh, like you can remove this and keep it blank. But for this video purpose, I'm going to keep it as address so that y'all can understand how required fields work. Now our user model is ready, right? Now what we want to do is we want to create user manager or custom user manager. Let's say that why because we don't want this username field to be giving us errors. So that's why we are creating custom user model. Sorry, custom user manager. So for that I'm going to uh, import the existing manager. So it is called as base user manager and then we are going to create a class called as user manager. So I will call it as class user manager and this will be like inheriting the base manager base user manager class. So this is done. Now over here we are going to create two methods. First, uh, if you remember it, the error was given to us in the while creating the super user. So first we are going to update that. So I'm going to say uh, create, um, sorry, uh, def create super user. So this is how we override the existing super user functionality. And in this one, I'm going to take in self mobile number because that is our main field. So that is what we are taking. Then we are going to also take the password what user provides us with. And since we have specified address to be the required field, so that uh, will be required when uh, we create user obj user object, right? So that's why I'm going to take address over here. Sorry, address. And once this is done, uh, what we'll do is uh, we'll create one more method to create the user. So let's say user is present over here and we will call that as uh, create user and we'll pass in the data literal. Once this is done, uh, since it is a super admin, right? So we are going to do user dot is active as true is active as true. Then we'll have also uh, fields like user dot is staff as true. Uh, God help me with my spellings uh, user dot is super user super user as true and then like we can do user dot save because we are overriding uh, like we are making them true over here. So save and we'll say using self dot underscore db and once this is done we are going to return the user that's it. So our super 
user uh, creation method is overridden now because we are overriding the user manager so now that uh, this is done we have to create this so we'll create it so i'll call it as def i'll paste the name and this is like we are overriding the uh, django's original use create user method so that uh, whenever new user is created only these are the fields that will be required so i'm going to copy this and paste it over here so in create user also we ex uh, expect self then mobile number password and address and over here we'll do a little validation uh, to check if mobile number is present or not so if not mobile number if not mobile number then we can raise a value error so raise value error and we'll say uh, mobile number is required mobile number is required okay otherwise we are going to create the user so it will be a uh, user will be equal to self dot model and that is the user model because base user manager has that and we are going to pass in mobile number equal to mobile number then we are going to pass address equal to address so these are the two uh, fields that we are going to pass and then in order to set the password we are going to say user dot set password because this is another of django's uh, built-in uh, built-in method and over here we are going to specify password so that is this password and once this is done we are going to save it so user dot save and it will be using underscore sorry self dot underscore db and then we are going to return the user so these are the necessary uh, user more uh, user manager modification that are required in order to not take the user username field right so what we did is we created a method of like we oh, sorry we have to pass these data in in the function sorry in the method for it to work so over here we have done is we have created a new method or like we have overridden existing method called a super admin super user which will be uh, like which takes in data from the prompt which uh, from the terminal so that we pass the data to create the uh, user and then we make all these uh, flags as true and save it in the uh, save it in the db and in create user we check the validation that if mobile number is valid or not or like mobile number is present or not and then we pass in the data like mobile number and address and set the password and save it and return the user so this is how we uh, create custom user manager in django and this is how we create custom user model in django so once these are done we also want to link uh, this new user manager for this new model right so to do that it is very easy we have to specify objects objects equal to whatever the manager is so user manager that is what i have named it and like this so that's it our custom user manager in django is linked to our custom user model in django so let's try to run this and see how it works let me clear this uh, actually we have to create migration but what i'm going to do is delete the existing migrations and also the existing db because uh, like these are two complete separate things that we have done so that's why i'm deleting the old ones and we are going to say python manage.py uh, make migrations uh, okay it is not uh, not detecting any changes so i'm going to do custom manage.py make migrations and then i'm going to specify the app name so now it finally created the migrations and we are going to run the migrate it so migrate python manage.py migrate so our migrations are ready and it is applied let's try to create our user so create super user uh, spelling mistake sorry mobile number let's say 9999 10 times address i want goa give it some password and yes and there we go now without asking for username our super user is created why because we have like created a custom user manager in django and we have overridden the existing method of creating the super user and also we have overridden the existing method of creating the user so that's why 
uh, it worked successfully so let's run the server and check run server go here and i'm go my bad and we'll say admin and it will ask me for password let's type in the password uh, credentials actually save and there we go it is working and it was asking me for mobile number itself if you go to this the username will be still present but then uh, it won't be asked in the user creation prompt and mobile number and address are present over here so that's it guys for this video series in this series we were successfully able to customize the django's user model we were also able to customize the django's user manager and we have integrated both of them together along with that we have also made the settings and we have created migration seamlessly so thank you guys for watching this video and if you like this kind of content make sure to subscribe to our channel because i make django and python and programming related content and make sure to like our video if you found this video helpful and see you in the next one